Okay, we are live. We are live on my Facebook page. You guys got suddenly quiet like it was all of a sudden church. These guys have not been quiet all day. Okay, so we are live. My name is Ellen, and I am a Pio Live Master Trainer, and I'm in Beaverton, Oregon. Is this technically Beaverton or Hillsboro yes, or Tansboroni or something? Beaverton. It's Beaverton. It's Beaverton. It's Beaverton. We've got 13 live viewers already. Um, we are in Beaverton, Oregon, and we are nearing the end of a day, so we're a little bit tired. Wrecked. wrecked. We're wrecked. And we are going to do a, I keep wanting to say drill, but it's an activity. And these guys are like, what activity are you going to make us do live? It's not working out. They're done working out for the day. We're going to do an activity, and you're coming in live with us into the room. We're going to do, thank you for the hearts, you guys, and the engagement. Um, I'm seeing if I have better lighting. Nope. It was better like this. Okay, okay, okay. It's all about the lighting. I'm in my 40s. I need to be well lit. <laughs> like basically washed out. Washed out is great lighting. Um, the activity is about engagement. We've, re we've recently been talking about cueing, right? We did the three-phase cueing. We talked about the, the, um, the alliteration of introduce and improve and then inspire. And we talked about how important cueing was, right, Megan, and how it's like this language, it's a conversation. It's not, a, it's not just a, a monologue, it's like a dialogue. So it's really important to engage with our participants. So here's how this drill is gonna work. Yes, we're in Portland, Remia. Um, you guys are partnered up. Who was the first person when we partnered up before that spoke first? Okay, that person is gonna go first. And for one minute, they are going to talk to their partner. So the, so the person who's not talking, raise your hand. The person who's not, you guys may not even speak, you may not utter a word. Which means, which means, thanks Jamie, Jamie's heart's pio. Which means the person who goes first literally has to speak for a minute. Do you know how hard that is? You're going to speak about what your idea of a, congrats to the Pio peeps, all the way from Massachusetts, you guys. Yeah. And, and if you guys stay on, if you stay on the broadcast, hi Caitlin, if you stay on the broadcast, as soon as we do this activity, not a drill, I'll, I'll let, we'll get some feedback from these guys and we'll, we'll hear what it was like to be here for seven and a half hours in a rather beautiful facility, slightly chilly. <laughs> a little bit chilly, so a little, little bit cold in here today. Um, you'll be able to hear from them and maybe ask them questions about what it's like to be at a training. Okay, so your idea of a perfect vacation for, and the other person cannot speak. One minute, go. You guys stay with me. Thanks, Caitlin. Hi, Brooke. You guys stay with me through this activity. It's pretty cool because it's it's hard for someone to talk about themselves for a solid minute. It's hard. And it's hard for the person who's listening to not engage. And I forgot to set a timer. Stop eating my cookie. I forgot to set a timer, so you guys are going to have to help me time. <laughs> yes, and exactly. We do. We fill it with um. Hi, Anne. 30 seconds left. <laughs> do you think it's been about 30 seconds? <laughs> It is literally freezing in this room, you guys. Katie, I'm in I'm in a suburb of Portland, so it's Beaverton, Beaverton, Oregon. Leanne. Oh, that's sweet, Leanne. Okay, stop. Did that feel like a minute? I actually forgot the time, you guys. I got distracted. I got distracted by the Facebook Live. So hopefully my boss isn't watching. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so did the person who was listening, did you stick to your end of the bargain, which I think is almost harder. No? Yeah, yeah. Marie? She's, 
trying to, I dropped it. Okay, okay. So, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so, <laughs> um, Marie dropped the ball, meaning she actively listened, and did you like actually talk back? No, you're not allowed to ask questions. <laughs> fail, fail. Okay. <laughs> Did you guys abide by the rules? Yeah. We've been trying not to. It's laugh. hard, isn't it? Yes. Why was she funny? Sometimes. Did she? Did she? Did she? Did she curse? Of course. Like she, did, like, she was cursing. Yeah. She was. Melanie curses when she practices her pie. Oh, we found out. <laughs> um, okay. So those of you that went, let me turn it around to the bad lighting. Those of you guys that were the first person that talked, um, tell us, tell the live viewers, tell me, what did it feel like to have to talk for a minute straight about yourself and your experience? Was that hard? Very uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable. It like for me, it wasn't talking about myself. I talked about something I wanted to do, so it was easier. Oh. Um, that's a good one. We can, we can extrapolate from that into what, where we're going with that. That's good. It's harder to talk about, let me go back to the good lighting. <laughs> it's harder to talk about ourselves for that whole time. It feels kind of selfish, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, and so you talked about an experience, other people? Traveling. Traveling? Okay. So... Um, before we switch it around and go to the other person, thank you for all those hearts, Bobby. Um, <laughs> um, what are some ways that we can engage with our participants before class even starts? Ask about them. Yep. Yeah, say hello. Welcome. Welcome. Ask about them. Take class. Class. Introduce yeah. yourself. Yes. Tell them what's your name. Thank you, Megan. You I've been trying to get Megan to a Pio cert for like <laughs> two years. Yeah. 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 And shout out to Nancy Korf. Will she watch this? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. She was instrumental in this whole thing. Um, and to Peggy for being mm -hmm. our host, being hospitable and letting us come in today. Um, yes, be vulnerable. Bobby said, Bobby teaches. And um, he's in California, and he says, be vulnerable with them about ourselves, yes. Vulnerability is, yeah, nobody, perfect is boring, like I said today, after I messed up three times. Perfect <laughs> is boring, perfect really is boring, and they like to know, our participants like to know that, um, you know, we're human and we roll with the punches. Um, what else, in terms of before class, what are some ways we can engage with people? We introduce ourselves, we ask about them, if they saw something on TV last night. Totally. Like, oh, God, God. Exactly. Perfect example. Megan, perfect example. She says, ask them about the whole Lady Gaga thing. And the whole everybody talking about her and her like skin fold. That was crazy. Team Lady Gaga. Um, so what, what else, um, what about during the class itself? What are some ways that, um, and you guys can, we can even pass this around, what are some ways during class when you've got a mic on your, you know, it's, it's, it's less conducive for a conversation. So how could you be engaging? Remember their names. Yes! Names. Remember their names. Absolutely. That's I'm about that. <laughs> That's I actually write names down. Yes. In my iPhone, like the notes section, like the, so if I can remember, like the date I taught that day, and then the person's name is sometimes blonde hair, um, ponytail, teacher. I'm coming or, over here. Um, no, I'm not going to no, oh. talk. <laughs> oh, oh just, okay. Well, okay, this is Tam. And she's from this area, and so she was saying she actually uses the Notepad app section. Now you're gonna have participants that are take your class that watch this, and they're gonna be like, "Oh, that's how she well, remembered my name." But they're in a different class, so they may not know me yet. That's actually a great idea, and I've actually done yeah. the same thing. I've done the same thing. Um, I also will write um, write their, I mean, say their name out loud a few times. Um, what else? So saying their name is great. What's another great way to engage with our participants during a class? And the, the inspiring cues or like the, you know, giving them positive feedback. 
Oh, she even used one of our queuing modules, inspire them, yeah. So this is Melanie. Hello. She does, as formerly stated, have a little bit of a potty mouth, as we found out <laughs> in an earlier activity today when she confused her right and her left leg just a few times. <laughs> so, no, she's, she's actually wonderful and been a pleasure to work with for almost eight hours now. As so you. inspiring, yes. so inspiring them. Um, and what, were, what else were you going to say about that? Just kind of in that inspiration, but just like giving them positive reinforcement of like reflecting what you see, what they're doing, just to kind of give them more confidence in themselves. <laughs> right, 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 exactly. What, what else, you guys, during class that is engaging with our participants? It's something that we've touched on. The, the one I'm thinking of right now is something we have touched on already today. Um, oh, Katie says Melanie's my spirit animal. <laughs> maybe yeah. maybe she likes to swear too. I don't Ooh, know. <laughs> oh, Angie Yoakum is on. That's Hi, awesome. Hi, Angie from Megan. <laughs> okay, what else? We talked about something. Okay, you want a hint? Um, Tam asked me a question, and it's one of the reasons Melanie was cursing. What was that about, you guys? Yes, yes, it was. Yes, it was about the mirror imaging. So what would that have to do with engagement? Eye contact. Eye contact! Yes, eye contact. Eye contact is huge. Okay. Um, high fives. Yes, high fives. That's a good one. So going out into their room and giving those high fives. That's a really good one. Thank you. Um, then what about after class? <laughs> you know, you work out. Did you yeah. enjoy it? Yeah. Take time can't to wait visit to one on one. Yeah. yeah. Can't wait to see you next time. Do you have any questions? Yes. You're welcome to come up and ask after. Class. Yes, yes, and that's a really good one about I can't wait to see you next time. Or what else? What if you taught other classes on the schedule? You know, you, you could plug. Like P90X3 and then Pio and then <laughs> yoga. And then, <laughs> I just mean you could invite them you to invite other them to classes. Yeah. yeah. Praise them. Yes, Renee. Yes. Renee's from Eureka. Who was from Eureka, California? Eureka. Uh -huh. Your husband was from Eureka. That's where I met Renee, and she does Pio. I've been, down, I've been down to Eureka three times. They're Beachbody Live lovers down there. All right, you guys. So as far as the activity, before I sign mm -hmm. off, um, but can you see how it can feel very awkward to just be solo, the only one talking, and how much more comfortable it would be if people would just cheat like Marie and engage with you? So that's what we want. We want our class to, to we want that, we, how much more comfortable it is when we can beckon and, and inspire some reciprocity and some engagement so it feels like a conversation, even if they're not talking back with us when we're teaching. Well, before I end my live video, Yes, Angie, after class, stick around and chat. Absolutely, get to know them. We've been talking for so much. It's just such a nice opportunity to take the spotlight off of ourselves and shine it on to them and get to know them and, um, and make them feel significant, so, um, which they are so valuable to us. So um, before I sign off, who wants to, on the spot, give a good description of Pio Live. If, you'd ne if I'd never taken your class and I'm like, so, is this gonna be like yoga class? No. Okay, who, who wants to give a, a, who wants to give a, Tina? No. Yes, you do. Oh, okay. <laughs> Amy? High intensity, low impact. Great. Very active, musical. Yes. It deals with music. Yes, athletic, music driven, yeah. high intensity. Low impact. That's pretty much hits the nail on the head. Anything else? Inspired by yoga. Yes, that's the perfect word. That's exactly inspired by yoga. Um, do you want to share? I'm gonna I'm gonna put her on the spot right now. Um, Megan told me. We get back in the good lighting. <laughs> she told me that she did what I now coined. She took her ball and went home. I did. <laughs> okay, so she. Go ahead and elaborate with what you did. Your first pie class. Um, well, I just felt intimidated by not being able to 
go through the sun salutations mm -hmm. and when I was in downward dog everybody else was already jumped up and I just was not in a good place for yeah. feeling inferior and so I just said okay well I'm not taking this class today and just packed up my mat and left yeah. and I wasn't ever prompted go at your own speed right don't worry about it right but so you came back but I came back yeah and she more than came back because after two years of me trying to get her in a training, <laughs> she finally she's finally here. So, um, but there's a big lesson in that for the instructors um, out there to just manage the expectations of the people well who come to such a different format. And Pio really is its own its own beast and its own animal. But when you came back, you felt successful with it. Mm -hmm. So, all right. With that, we will leave you guys. And we're going to get back to the other person having to uh, work on their engagement. Fast yoga. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. Pretty fast. All right, you guys, thanks for hopping on live, and we will chat with you later.